Hello friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware certification VCP6 data center virtualization video uh, videos and this is the second video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install vCenter 6 server on Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 so so let's have some idea about my demo environment so in my demo environment I have two virtual machines uh, the first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is uh, my Active Directory so domain controller if you want you can check here here is my uh, Win2K12 R2 DC01 you can verify the computer name and my domain name is victorinfosol.com and the IP address is 192.168.1.254 and what I have installed I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server we can see <coughs> my domain name if I go to Active Directory user sense computers here you can see my domain name victorinfosol.com and the second server is my vCenter 6 which is uh, I have assigned 12 GB RAM for this server because vCenter 6 require minimum 8 GB RAM to like for the installation of vCenter 6 and the machine is joined in my domain victorinfosol.com if you want you can check here vcenter6 and machine is joined to my domain victorinfosol and you can see the IP address other details you can verify from here uh, if you go to my uh, domain controller active directory user sense computers we have one OU called India and on the server this machine has been joined to my domain here it is Windows Server 2012 data center and I have logged in on my vCenter server by vCenter admin account basically this is Active Directory user account if you go here you can see my account here vCenter admin if you go here on member of you can verify uh, this account is member of domain administrator so why domain administrator I want to put this uh, account for uh, like uh, administrative task which is required on my vCenter server so it will get the administrator administrative access on my vCenter server so so <clears throat> so uh, in this video I am going to install vCenter 6 vSphere uh, VMware vSphere 6 on this machine which is called vCenter 6 so what we need we need a ISO image of vCenter installation media so I have already downloaded and I'm going to mount the ISO file in my DVD drive of this vCenter 6 and I have like VIM uh, 6 setup so open it so here you can see the DVD is mounted in his and server just go and install the run program for your media yes I want to run the auto run file so here you can see the inst uh, installation is open the screen so we have VMware vSphere and here you can see VMware vCenter server and pre-request none so it will install the uh, like vCenter server on of a server so just go ahead and click uh, nothing fancy this like uh, very simple installation uh, next next finish for the vcenter 6 so it will launch the installation wizard once you click on install button so just wait for the installation also I want to show you the RAM utilization for this machine like if you go now you can verify it's around 700 or 800 MB utilization for RAM on this machine once the vCenter is installation is completed you can verify the RAM and RAM utilization little bit increase like like few GBs so that's why it's required minimum 8 GB RAM for this virtual machines on which you are going to install the vCenter server so just wait here you can see Windows installer is, is launching and preparing to install so welcome to uh, VMware vCenter server 6 installer and please wait installing 
like let's installing some pre-request of forms our server so it's initializing the installations So here you can see click uh, click next to install so I'm going to click on next I accept the license agreement click next and this is like embedded deployment vCenter for like uh, for my single domain so I don't have uh, like a uh, vCenter previously installed in my domain or uh, in my platform so going with the this one vCenter and platform service controller and VM and host so go with it and here is my server name fqdn so vcenter6 victorinfusal.com click next and here we have a detail for like domain name and I'm going to set my password here and going to call it site name India and click next and I'm going to use my service account uh, server service account the same which we have logged in and if you go on server you can see on account detail I have set password never expire it means this is uh, the password for this account is never going to be expired so this is uh, going to use as a local service system account so click next and we have option for database setting uh, and this uh, from VMware vCenter 6 we have option to we prostage uh, embedded database so going to use it click next and we have option for like uh, all the ports common ports and we sent a server port platform server port click next and our destination directory is going to use the default one click next and here we have the all information which we uh, we which may require after installation and login of a v center so good to know click install button so now you can see that just uh, uh, after a few clicks, we we are we have basically initiated the installation for vCenter Server 6, and it will take some time and uh, like um, like uh, 20 or 30 minutes to get the installation done for vCenter, and it's depend on your machine on server speed on which you are going to install the vCenter server. So so I am pausing the recording here. If any man manual uh, like interaction is required from over end, then I will resume a video from there. So, pausing the recording here. So you can see the uh, uh, V installation is completed. We have successfully installed a uh, vCenter server and launch vCenter uh, vSphere web client. Before launching, I want just want to show you something like a few services which is uh, related to VMware vCenter. So here we have if you type VM, here we can see we have services like. VMware certificate service and like directory service, inventory service, licensing service, and other other like something you can see the many services related to VMware like vCenter configuration service, vCenter virtual center, VMware virtual center service which is related to VMware vCenter basically. So we have lots of services are uh, like uh, embedded to our uh, vCenter uh, vCenter server, which is related to vCenter. And if you go here on Microsoft Start button, you can see here uh, like VMware vSphere web client is installed by default with the vCenter. So go ahead and launch this. So click on finish and now so now let's go and launch the uh, VMware web client so here it is VMware vSphere web client click on it and it will automatically redirect to login page for VMware so here we are we have to type the uh, credential which we have used uh, during the installation so administrator 
at the ray we have to type like waste pair dot local and credential for it which we have set at the time of installation so correct it administrator so you need to install the uh, adapt flash player for this so you can see it's downloading the adapt flash player uh, downloading is almost complete that's why we are getting the login screen So we have successfully logged into our vSphere web client and here you can see the user account and our login screen page. So we have successfully installed our vCenter server 6 and we have logged in and we have verified the like our host and cluster and everything which is like for now it's blank and we have to go with the step by step for uh, building the our lamp. So Thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query, any question related to this, please post me on my given mail ID. Thank you once again. Bye bye.